Become the kind of leader that people would follow voluntarily, even if you had no titles or positions. And on that note, I welcome you to Know Your Representative, the program that bridges the visible gap between lawmakers and their constituents. I am Maria Olashende. We'll take a short break. I'll be back soon. Stay with us. The task of the leaders is to get their people from where they are to where they've not been. How do we hold our leaders accountable in the business of lawmaking and representation? The mandate that you have given to us is not abuse in any way. The primary purpose of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the Nigerian people. The constituency project had noble intentions and they still remain the most veritable tool. Do they really know their representatives are the states? and national assemblies. Our people, they don't have water, they are suffering. They, they only drink water from where they fall. For the current one, the intent assembly, I don't really know who is in charge. From the mountaintops to the deepest valleys, we're ready to go an extra mile just to show Nigerian your constituency project. Know your representative with Maria, bridging the visible gap. Unlock new skills in security management for legislative operations. National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILS, invites you to a three-day capacity building workshop on effective security management in the legislature. Who should attend? Sergeant at Arms, Chamber of Assistance, other paramilitary personnel, legislative aides, protocol, venue, NILS permanent site, number 2, Abubakar O. Suleiman Avenue, off Umaru Musa Air Adua Expressway, Airport Road, Abuja. Date, 10th to 12th September. 2024. Why attend? Enhance your skills in managing security operations within legislative environments. Learn from experts in the field, sharpen your protocols, and ensure the safety and smooth running of legislative sessions. Don't miss out on this opportunity to improve security strategies, master legislative protocols, network repairs, and security professionals. NILS, stepping up your expertise in legislative security management. Former Governor of Zamfara State and Senator representing Zamfara West Senatorial District, Senator Abdulaziz Yari Abubakar has donated relief materials to those affected by the recent flooding in Gumi local government area of Zamfara State. The donation includes 15 trucks loaded with foodstuff. Consistent of rice, millets, maize.
as well as 5,000 mattresses. and 10,000 blankets. Senator Abdulaziz Yari, who is also the chairman of the Senate Committee on Water Resources, made this announcement during his visit to the Emir of Gumi, His Royal Highness Justice Lawal Hassan retired, who expressed his deep sympathy for the losses endured by the community. The recent floods caused by heavy rainfall that lasted over 14 hours led to the destruction of 2,795 homes in towns such as Gayari, Falale and Gumi, resulting in the tragic loss of 16 lives and the submersion of vast hectares of farmland. During his visit, Senator Yari emphasized the urgent need to alleviate the suffering of the flood victims. He says those relief materials are provided as an emergency measure to ease the hardship that the affected individuals will face. Assuring the Emir of Gumi and his constituents, Senator Abdulaziz Yari assured the community that upon completion of the assessment, comprehensive rebuilding efforts would commence. As you can see, the situation is very worse. Has worsened, and uh, we are assigned to come here on behalf of distinguished senator Abdulaziz Abubakar Yari uh, to come as a committee uh, to visit Gumi to see by ourselves what has happened, and we have seen, honestly speaking, the situation is terrible. You can see this calamity. Uh, it involves their houses, animals, and even the loss of human lives. Apart from that, if you are to go back to their farms, you can see that uh, almost all their farms is being marginalized by water. So the disaster is, uh, honestly speaking, terrible. Uh, our committee is to come and visit. Uh, after that, we are assigned to make to form a committee that will make an uh, individual assessment. The names will be recorded, the amount of lost houses and farms will also be recorded. And inshallah, as we were told by His Excellency the former Governor of the State and the distinguished senator, that he will personally uh, see what he can do as far as this situation is concerned and he will also liaise with the federal government as a representative of the people of Gumi town or Gumi local government to see that also the federal government has come in to see what he can do to see that uh, the people of this area are being assisted so very soon i assure you very soon very soon something must be done all we are doing all we are waiting now is for the committee to make the assessment and give the report. And inshallah, we are going to assist the committee in, 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 in making the report and we will, we, will, we will take care and we will try our best to see that the work is speedy so that the assessment will be done as soon as possible. And I know the more the report was given to him, it's given to him, inshallah, be there. Because if you are to measure the magnitude of the disaster, Honestly speaking, it's very much. So we cannot rush. We'll, uh, we'll be calmed to see that uh, everything is measured accordingly.
he emphasized that as part of this rebuilding plan, mud bricks will not be permitted. He will ensure that modern building materials and qualified engineers are available to construct durable homes for the people. Senator Yari also urged the victims to remain resilient and faithful, encouraging them to seek peace and solace in their prayers. Responding to Senator Yari's prompt intervention, His Royal Highness the Emir of Gumi expressed gratitude for Senator Yari's prompt and compassionate response to the crisis. He also called on the affected communities to fully cooperate with the assessment committee to facilitate a thorough and accurate evaluation of the damages. This initiative underscores Senator Yari's commitment to the welfare and well-being of his constituents, particularly during the times of crisis. Al Haji Sani Ibrahim, a counselor from the Emirates who speaks on the Emir's behalf, expressed gratitude for the support during a difficult time to his people. When he came last week, he made some promises. There on ground, he promised 15 bags of rice, of different, uh, 15 bags of different varieties of commodities. Trucks, 15 trucks of, com uh, of, of com different commodities. That is rice, uh, uh, maize, and uh, guinea, guinea corn. So after that, he also promised 10 pieces of uh, blankets, 10,000 10, pieces of blanket, 5,000 pieces of uh, mattresses. Uh, so far, most of them have arrived. You can see already we have started distributing the corn and rice already allocated here. You can see the crowd while collecting their own shares. Already we have made some proposals of which individual, each individual will get his own share up to the number of 10,291 people involved will benefit from this. In fact, people are very much grateful. They have never expected of this kind of thing because first and foremost, each and everybody is to get all these, uh, all these donations. And they, right now, people are already hungry and they have started collecting all the items. So they are very much pleased and they are praying so much on, uh, on his, uh, on Abdul Aziz Yari, who donated these items to him. He characterized Senator Abdulaziz Yari as a legislator who looks out for his constituents and has kept all of his campaign pledges. Abdul Asensi, uh, his Excellency Abdulaziz Yari is wonderful. He has fulfilled all the promises made to his constituency, which Gumi is one of them. We, in fact, we never expected, we never think anybody can do better than what Abdulaziz Yari has done. He has, he has his own constituency in his mind. He has everything. Already he has sent some surveyors, he has sent some engineers who have gone around the town and see the gravity of the plot. And they, already they have given him the assessment. Mbashaka, uh, distinguished senator of Lazida Ariazu Nangarangumi, Yaja Jantama Omo Gumi Kuma, Alhamdulillah, so you for in Chiki Don and Zuan de. I want to know when the Kumayal Kola, Alhamdulillahi, Na Agajin Gaugawa, the cheese a buyer, Nafurku de Ziba, the Trela Okota, or Trela Bieta Masara, Trela Bieta Masa Shinkava, and Trela Bieta Giru, Sandam Kuma, the Trela Bieta Shinkava. Kuma, buying one Nam Kumayal Kolim, Ba the Boroguna, Dubu Venom, the Kuma Katifu Dubu beer. The Kumani added in the Kimanta, Amari, Bashakai, Alkaling, Baragona, Dubu Guma, Sandan, the Kuma, Katifu, Dubu, and Nikis, and Manik King Hazatuna, Kuma, Mana Gudiaga Allah, do in Alkolanda, Watum, His Excellency Gaba, Ekosenti, Achika Alkola, when she bought a dama, the Zaka Magana got Aki, Kuna Kalu, Anana, and Arabunkaya, Kamo, where she, he may murder the Kimataki, who got in ten ten, she saw a nini, one of Musiba Tasama. Kamin nan kuma ya sanya committee mai karfi bayan ya sa committee mai kokarin tantancewa domin a tantance adadin mutane cikin bincikin da aka yi sai aka samu mutanen da suka samu wannan matsala sun kai 10991 ya wakalama wannan committee bisa ga tsakani da Allah amintattu sai kokari su tsaro kuma sun tsaro dukkanin kowace shiya muriwuri shiya shiya da nau'in bannar da kowane al'umma suka samu kuma a wannan lokacin jiya shi mai martaba 
ya gabatar da committee su ci gaba da aiki na rabo bayan shi da kai ne yawa rabawa kuma alhamdulillah tsarin da akai dukkanin wannan nan mutane da abin ya shafa kowannin su zai samu rabin buhu ko da ya samu rabin buhu na masara ko rabin buhu na gero ko rabin buhu na shinkafa bayan wannan kuma akwai wani tanadi da akai gogoran hali domin tallafa mu wa'an su mutane wa'an da su wata matsalata musamman tattafin ta sama bisa ga ainihin ya ce musu na farko dai su yi godiya ga Allah da ya ba su irin wannan bayan Allah mai taimaka musu domin abu ne ta yi a tafahinta ta ga yanzu ban san wani mutum mai kokarin taimaka mu al'umma irin shi ba kuma su gode mu Allah ga wannan sannan kuma su yi kokari su sai mai sakayya ta alkhairi ga abin da ya domin ka'ida shine duk wanda ya alkhairi to a saka mai da alkhairin da Unlock new skills in security management for legislative operations. National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies NILS invites you to a 3-day capacity building workshop on effective security management in the legislature. Who should attend? Sergeant at Arms, Chamber of Assistants, or the paramilitary personnel, legislative aides, protocol, venue, NILS permanent site, number 2 Abubakar O Suleiman Avenue of Umaru Musa Air Adwa Expressway, Airport Road, Abuja. Date 10th to 12th September. 2024 why attend enhance your skills in managing security operations within legislative environments learn from experts in the field sharpen your protocols and ensure the safety and smooth running of legislative sessions don't miss out on this opportunity to improve security strategies master legislative protocols network with peers and security professionals nils stepping up your expertise in legislative security management Some of the beneficiaries who received the support expressed the lights over the gesture and prayed to Allah to reward the senator. Ya adadan abin da horon banna sai dai a ce inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun. Musiba ce babba wadda ta auko a cikin wannan gari a wannan masarauta ta gumi ba abin da zamu ce illa kawai Allah ya mai musu da mafi bice alkhairin sa ku mutanen da suka yi rasa rayukan su a cikin wannan ibtilai Allah ya karbi shahada su ya'in da suka bari kuma Allah ya zama gatan su ya ji bin shi labarin su shi kuma mai daraja tsohon gwamna honorable dr abul aziz ya da abubakar Allah ya saka mu shi da alkhairi bisa ga kudurin da yake da shi na taimaka mu wadannan al'umma bisa wannan ibtilai bidabt bani a ce maka adadin su kaza amma alalak Allah akwai mutane sama da dubu gidaje dubu da 500 amma kammala cikakken bayanin adadin gidajen nan to sai dai zuwa wadannan ranaku da an bata maka ko dai gobe ko kuma zuwa dai talata in Allah yadda zan nuna gura da rayuwar mu duk babu a wanda shi wannan mala da gidajen mu da gonaki da ma suna muka samu wurin laba a duk gare su wasu sun dan gyara kwanna an dan keji keji haka wasu ku sun koma gidan haya wasu ku sun tsaya gidajen wasu wadanda gidajen su wasu tudewa sun sun tsaya da yaran su ciki ne ka rayuwa gaskiya sauran dan dakin yana da bagiran inda aka dan zauna a gare shi amma ba ta kai karin irin yanzu yadda aka kawo muna hanyarwa ba domin tunda baki muka barta ta gumi ya shiga sabon gare shi gare ran more ya wuce amunawa duk ruwan su hanyar ga suka biwa suna gangarawa da Allah ya kamu da wadannan garuwa na jaza'i ina ganin tunda sabon gari inda ruwa suka fara banna har nan ne ga insha Allah wannan an kalli su yanzu gidajen da annan ne ga wadanda wadanda a cikin su ba su ciki ba batun mu da ciji 30 an kai ba wallahi mun yi da ciji 50 wanda ba su cikin gidajen su to muna buƙatar gudunmowa ta hanyar da za a rage mana ƙarfin ruwan ga da kuma gina mana muhallin mu wanda mun karasa wanda in an kafa mu da shi wallahi ba mu mai da muhalli haraka ta yake wallahi Allah shi taimaki mai daraja Abdul Aziz Yari taimako sako na ina bada godiya ta musamman ga Abdul Aziz Yari da irin gudunmowar da ya kawo ma mutanen gumi da kewayenta Allah ubangi saka mai da alheri Allah shi bashi abin da ka fi dalu ne Allah hira Allah shi taimake shi da taimakon shi Allah shi ƙara daga daraja ta ta inda bai iya kaiwa dan daraja alƙur'ani sako na gare shi Allah shi mai kariya kuma shi ƙara ba shi ikon tausaya matalaka kuma ubangiji Allah ka taimake shi ga dukkan al'amura ne na alkhairi kuma muna goyon baya sosai Allah shi ƙara ba shi ikon karfafa wannan al'amari nan kasar gumi 
to alhamdulillah gaskiya yau muna cikin farin ciki da annashawa bisa ga wannan gudumawa da Allah ya kaddari a kawo muna sai mutane suna cikin wani yanayi bayan ga yanayin da ake cikin tsadar rayuwa sannan muku zamu samu ibtilai gonaki sun ruguje gidaje sun ruguje wanda abin da mutun zai ci ne ni daya abun ya zaba ko wahala gare shi amma alhamdulillah tun daga ji yanzu aka kare ina dan ƙara haske jama'a suna cikin rawala saboda duk wanda Allah ya kaddari samu na ba kalla zai kwana goma ku kwana goma shabe yana muriwa da wannan temakon kuma temakon yazo daidai gabar da mutane kusan abu kadan rage mutane su hara gangarawa zuwa lahaya saboda saboda sanin wahala tsanin bala'i to alhamdulillah abinda za mu yi wannan bawan Allah muna da horko dai ina so in tabbata mai da cewa committee da yasa wannan aikin da wannan aiki a kafin ku tagumi to wannan committee aiki ya aiki yadda ya kamata a yi shi saboda jama'a sakon da ya kamata ya kai sakon ya kai inda ya kamata ya kai kuma al'umma suna addu'a kuma wani mai addu'a duk inda yasa kai ne duk abin da bakai ta duniya ta haya ubangiji Allah ka biya mai ita kada Allah ya gaje yadda shi kada Allah ya guda mai rada zai ciwo a azayi wannan shi yasa kuna zuwa gare alhamdulillah Allah ya tsaka da alheri Allah ya biya shi Allah ya sanya mana unhani mun gode mun gode Allah ya saka mai da alheri a gaskiya alhamdulillah Allah ya saka ma wanda sun kai wanga tallafi da alheri kuma Allah shi biya musu dukkan bukatun su domin sun taimaka mana lokacin da muka san su taimake mu Allah ya saka musu da Allah ya mun gode ma Allah kuma Allah ya tabbatar da alheri kuma Allah ya biya shi Allah ya saka haka shi a alheri gode muna gaisuwa kuma mun gode kuma ubangiji Allah ya biya shi da lulluwar da ya dauka Allah ya kara mai makami da matsayi kuma mun gode kwarai Allah ya sa ai cikin da sai kuna ina mubarak ina kara ba su shawara su kara tulawa da kuna da talakawan su da kuma ba da tsaro da shi ya hida mu yanzu ka san mu security management for legislative operations national institute for legislative and democratic studies nils invites you to a 3 day capacity building workshop on effective security management in the legislature who should attend sergeant at arms chamber of assistants or the paramilitary personnel legislative aides protocol venue nils permanent site number 2 abubakar o suleiman avenue of umaru musa era dua expressway airport road abuja date 10th to 12th september 2024 Why attend? Enhance your skills in managing security operations within legislative environments. Learn from experts in the field, sharpen your protocols, and ensure the safety and smooth running of legislative sessions. Don't miss out on this opportunity to improve security strategies, master legislative protocols, network with peers and security professionals. Nils, stepping up your expertise in legislative security management. The task of the leaders is to get their people from where they are to where they've not been. How do we hold our leaders accountable in the business of lawmaking and representation? The mandate that you have given to us is not abuse in any way. The primary purpose of government is to ensure the welfare and security of the Nigerian people. The constituency project had noble intentions and they still remain the most veritable tool do they really know their representatives at the states and national assemblies our people they don't have water they are suffering they they only drink water from where they fall for the current one the intent assembly i don't really know who is in charge from the mountain tops to the deepest valleys we're ready to go an extra mile just to show nigerian your constituency project know your representative with maria bridging the visible gap 
And that's it on Know Your Representative with Maria Jenny. Same time next week as I bring you another interesting edition of the program. For missed episodes, you can catch up on our YouTube page, Mabase TV. Thanks for watching. I am Maria on Lashende. Goodbye and God bless Nigeria.